I had a good one there. Yes, but was it a good one? It was a good one. Joe, it seems like Gonzo's been playing a lot of hands so far for a loose cannon. Yeah, as we look at the VPIP, which shows the percentage of hands where a player is getting involved pre-flop, the loose cannon is at 42%, second at the table behind Scott Seaver. Surprisingly, Negreanu is tied at the bottom alongside Bobby Sura with 19%. And I don't know what choice he has with Seaver and Tony to his left. Well, Gonzo told us earlier that he came in here with a game plan. Now, we haven't seen the playbook, but it must have said, make a lot of hands. <laughs> Tony G, suited connectors, raises to 1,200. Viffer calls. Cannon and Sura are out. Yeah, that's tournaments. Those are, what do you call those? Dunkaments? They're talking about Daniel's brief stint at the top of the all-time tourney money winners list. Eric Seidel currently on top. Daniel makes the call with King Queen off. Scott Seaver, Queen Jack of Diamonds. At least there's room for everyone to keep improving. I mean, the way you guys all play, there's certainly tons of room. Yeah. Scott yeah. calls. I'm going to go with an old Hellmuth trick. Watch this, gentlemen. Check in the dark. The How do you fade that? Check. Seriously. Check in the dark. I don't even want to see what's coming. Flop, deuce 10, Jack. Wow. Genius. That was amazing. What I just did there is so high level, I can't even put it into words. Checks around. Everyone check. Turns the seven of spades, and Tony G has made a straight. See how that worked? Because if I wouldn't have done that, they would have been more scared. Um, my turn, right? Daniel's still open-ended. Did you qualify? Yes, I've qualified pretty com pretty comfortably at this point. The question is, how much do I want to put in there? You checked. No, I'm not. I'm not, for sure. You're not checking? Yeah. If you're folding any badges, you can just do that now. I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to put 36 in. Daniel's bet 3,600. Daniel's trying to clean up his outs. Seaver calls with top pair. I'm going to raise it. Good spot for a raise. Action in front of him. A lot of draws out there. He's likely to get called. 14,000. One guy's not bolding, betting. One guy's not folding. And one guy's raising. Look, it's a nice opportunity to raise. Viffer folds his nothing. I just like, go to punish him for that back check. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. Tony's raise size to 14 is pretty good, too. He's building a nice pot. Does that mean I can get my money back because you're just trying to punish him? If I win the pot, I'll give, I'll give you money back. And Tony's raise is not too big to chase off someone who likes to call. <coughs> Daniel! <laughs> this does not look good. For you or me? Yeah, for, you, for me. It looks like you're involved in this. I'm involved. Yeah. He's qualified. <laughs> Daniel calls. Now over to Seaver. Oops. Uh-oh. Who's counting out chips, drawing dead? <laughs> this would be real strong if the race came now after the wake me up. I make speed. it like fifty thousand to win this. It's possible on a wet board like this that Tony could be semi bluffing. Pretty freaky. But with a raise and a call, top pair almost never good here. And Seaver folds. Oh, that was a big sweat. Took a long time. That that, that speech really got him. He made a big laydown just now. Okay, you, you, owe me, you owe me my 3600 if you win the hand. That's not exactly how poker works. Tony and Daniel to the river. Nine of diamonds and Daniel's made the nuts straight. That's a super dirty card for Tony. Not only does it beat him, but it's not a club, so the only two hands that beat him are king, queen, and queen eight. I think Daniel may want to check raise here. No. He bets 35,000, a little Tony G move. Daniel must think Tony's not all that strong and he could check behind on the river. Are you also offering my 4,800 back if you... <laughs> yeah. Tony calls and Daniel wins a $100,000 pot. I had the nuts on the turn. Wow, well done. Felt like... <coughs> Too good. I mean, that check in the dark. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the trick. <laughs> I mean, that old check in the dark, you really punished him. Never misses. What do you mean, 